Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to use flat maps inside the streams. So in the previous uh, examples in the series, you would have seen filters, maps, map to int. In this particular example, we are going to see how to use flat maps and when to use flat maps. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the same example so that we can uh, develop from that. So I'm just going to create a new class called flat map. And, and also this particular example is there in the github so you can directly get it from there so all these uh, functional programming project um, is available in github so the link for that in, is in the description below so you can just directly go ahead and use it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Ojo I think I already did one here so I'll reuse this class so let me delete that so I'll create a flat mapper okay so I'm going to convert this user and let's say you have list of phone numbers okay I'm going to change this to a constructor so let all the constructor be there I'll add some getters and setters ok so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these ok so I'm going to use the user so users so I'm going to say new user of let's say Peter his age is let's say 20 and also we need to give the uh, list of phone numbers right so for simplicity what I'll do is I'll just say one two okay so I'm gonna create something similar so Ryan okay So I'll just make the phone numbers three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay. So what we have here is a users list. Okay. So internally it has a pojo, and then internally inside that they have a list of phone numbers. So what we need to do is let's say we want to identify um, the phone numbers which are matching for a particular user and his phone number is 5 so that's what we are going to do here so we are going to iterate this particular user so we are going to use the streams here so I'm going to say streams and what we need to do is we need to identify whose phone number is 5 okay so what we need to do is we need to iterate it and identify right so how will we iterate it? so uh, in case of uh, uh, the mappers or the filters you saw that okay you were able to uh, iterate it till the users level and then we found out but in our case it is at a much lower level right so what we need to do is we are going to use uh, map initially okay so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate each and every users and then we are going to give the array list to the flat, flat map okay so let's see what we need to do so map as you know it expects you to give a function okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a function and then I'm going to create give a object so I'll just say okay so what I am going to do here is user dot get phone numbers so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to return only that okay so I'm going to convert this into a lambda right so let me remove this guy it's not required now. okay and uh, this is going to return a stream so if you notice here this is going to return a uh, list and we need to return a stream so once we return a stream now we will be able to do flat map over it so basically from a single stream you are getting another stream so from the users uh, stream 
we are getting a stream of phone numbers so that is what we are doing here so if you notice here here we will be getting the phone numbers okay so let's see what stream expects stream expects uh, the flat map expects um, the function but the input for that particular function is a stream and then output can be another stream as well so what we are going to do here is we are going to use the string so for example string stream is the name and now I need to identify whose phone number is 5 right so I need to do a filter basic right so I'll do a filter so I will just say phone number and phone number dot equals of 5 so this is going to return a stream basically if you notice here this filter is going to again return a stream and the output of the flat map is always a stream okay it gets a stream and gives a stream so now over the stream we can do something else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use find any so I'm going to show you how to use uh, optional as well so along with the flat map so I'm going to say find any so find any is another um, uh, stream API where if it finds a single value okay if it finds any value it will just stop the stream okay so if it finds a uh, phone number 5 it's going to stop my stream so that is what we are doing here so let me replace this with a lambda expression I'll just remove this that's it so now if you notice here find any is going to return a value and we are not storing it anywhere so I'm going to store it into a local variable called string optional so if you notice here this find any has returned a type of object called optional so optional is a final class if you notice here optional is like a wrapper class okay which is coming inside Java 8 okay you can use that for uh, wrapping your um, different objects and you can use it for um, null safe checks or something like that so for example um, here you did a find any but there could be chances that there was no phone numbers which are matching that particular criteria right so in that case optional will not have any value so inside optional if you notice here if I do a dot optional is like a stream so you can do whatever you want you can do a filter you can do flat map you can do um, all the things which you did in filter like most of them for example map as well however there is an option to say if present so if the value was present then you can process that value so for example if the value was present the phone number you are going to say print my phone number okay so what we are doing here is we are uh, printing it only if the object is present so if I run this particular program okay this is going to run me return me only 5 right because it is it has uh, returned the phone number 5 because that is what we did here so we said that okay filter this and then find uh, any particular object okay it is going to return me that particular object okay so that is what we are going to see here so if you notice here the output is 5 and if let's say I have put some other value uh, let's say I put 10 which we don't have right if I run this this optional is not going to return anything so it's not going to find any value so this if present will never be hit so if you notice here the output is not showing this particular line so that basically this code never got executed so optional is just wrapping it um, and it's not allowing you to go inside so if uh, previously if, uh, in the Java 7 till Java 7 what we used to do is we used to check if it if the variable is null or if the object is null or if the collection is not empty or stuff like that right so we don't have to do that with optional so optional is like a wrapper class which we can use for uh, null safe checks okay and also stream over it so that is the usage of optional so if you want to stream over that you can stream as well like you want to map it to some other object you can do that uh, in this particular example I just uh, shown a if present okay that is the usage of optional so and um, uh, if you notice here flat maps was expecting a stream if you notice what we did here in the map here is we got the stream and gave it to the flat map and that particular stream it converted into another stream okay that is what a flat map does so flat maps converts uh, one type to another so one uh, stream of one type to another so if you notice here it converted the stream um, it did a filter and then it converted into another stream so that is where uh, you will be using flat maps uh, and also we saw what is optional so optional is a wrapper class around a object and mostly it is used inside uh, streams to uh, for uh, type safe checks and 
if you see here they have uh, predefined apis which if you use you don't have to do null checks and stuff like that or, or else what you have to do is you have to do a null check and stuff like that also you can uh, do something like this if you uh, you can use optional outside as well so you can say optional dot off nullable or off so if there are null values inside a particular uh, stream of objects you can use off nullable if you don't have null objects and you have like only a specific set then you can do um, if you have if you are expecting the object to be null then you can use like uh, off nullable if you are expecting the object to never be null then you can use off okay and then you over that object you can do whatever you want filter or uh, you want to do a map or you want to find anything so you can do the same thing okay so that is what optional does so optional does wraps your object into a uh, type safe thing and then you can do iterate over it and it provides all the apis which you have it in streams okay so that's it for this particular video meet you again in the next video